hello everyone today we are going to add some improvements to our skid mark system so by adding this smoke that is generated as a result of uh, the friction between the tire and the floor tire and the surface so yeah let's see how to implement this effect today so this system is uh, actually we already worked on the skid mark system in this video here in this video and i'm going to use the same project Hello, and uh, implement on top of that this additional effect okay so at the moment when i make a handbrake you can see the skid marks like this so now i want to do some improvements to this system by adding some smoke uh, that generates as a result of the friction between tire and the ground so for that this is the skid mark or tire mark so as the smoke we have to have another emitter so let's add this fountain emitter uh, by the way if you don't see this when you try to add a new emitter what you have to do is go here under settings make sure that you have enabled show engine content and also if you, still you can't see try enabling show plugin contents also right and i can see them and let's add a fountain i'll name this mock and yeah so this is not the way i want it to be so this velocity i'll make it in between five and eight and disable gravity so it becomes like this and then uh, it should be scaled up with time and also this should look like some smoke as well so first let's make this as some longer time say six to nine right. and how this would look okay So how to make it look like smoke so here we are using this default sprite material and since I have enabled engine content let me try a type smoke and we have this M smoke black body so here if you zoom in you see like it's uh, you can see some array that's because if I open this material, this is the texture it is using. So it has a 8 by 8 smoke texture with sub UV. So there are 8 textures across and 8 textures in this side. So in order to have only one texture, what we have to do is this sub image size 8 by 8. Now we get only one. Uh, smoke but this is black and also <clears throat> so in order to uh, have random texture what we can do is in order to have random uh, image selected from here not that it matters much we can actually 
sub UV animation I can make this um, what if I add it here so okay it looks cool but I need it to be white so but I'm not going to change this material because this is this material resides inside this engine content so if I change it here these changes will be reflected in other projects as well which is not something I want to do so let's make a copy of this same material and let's copy here and I'll name it M smoke right now let's use this material still it's the same because I haven't made any changes so how here we have this particle color node and this is black so if I make this one minus this will be white see and also if I multiply this with the particle color I'll be able to change the color by setting the color in the color in here so if I apply this and now this is white if I make it a different color now you see that change is also applied but I don't really want it to be any other color than white so right now let's see how this looks okay not really good uh, I think we can play with the scale so scale random and form 6 and 12 uh, let's add a scale sprite size note and let's make it like this and add a multiplier so this will become much larger now which looks cool but it's too much mm. then what we can do is uh, and also we need to increase the spawn rate because somehow it looks like like this is better so now we need to reduce it uh, not the count but the thickness of the smoke so here oh, we already have this scale color and it's it something like point two maybe not enough Well, that's too much. Uh, here we are using normalized stage. Mm. 
Oh, I'll take that. What if we... Alright. Move this closer. I think that looks better. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now here I'm going to stop this episode. Here is the final demonstration. And thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.